What is faith, you may ask? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things unseen. But when it, when it comes to faith, you have to exercise it like a muscle. You have to put in the work. We are going to talk about the three steps that you're going to have to take in order for your faith to grow. Welcome to the Sermon Recap, where we take the previous Sunday service of Living Word Church and we recap it. As usual, I'm not alone. I'm with a guest. I'm with a lady who is funny. I'm with a lady who is quite creative. She's been on the couch a couple of times. Help me welcome Shantae. Hi, Dumi. Hi, how are you, Shantae? I'm good, thanks, and you? Good, good. It's exciting to have you back on the couch. Yes, how are you feeling? It's exciting to be back. Yes. Yo, I'm feeling good, good. Quite excited. Enjoyed the service on Sunday? Yes, I absolutely did. I mean, I was actually in the service. So I got to enjoy it. I also enjoyed the service. Yeah. Pastor Wayne was preaching to us this Sunday on the series Faith for Your Future. Mm-hmm. And he shared three spectacular points about faith and how you can grow your faith. Um, I want to talk about when he spoke about the seed faith, where you plant faith mm. in your heart. I just want to talk about that. And he also displayed that you only have to have faith as little as a master seed. So once you've planted that into your heart already, you do have faith yes. in your heart. Yeah, I just want to first talk about that. Seed faith is when you plant faith into your heart. Nurturing faith, you nurture it with the word of God. And harvesting faith is what you receive from the faith that you've planted and nurtured it. And those are the fruits. That's what I got this Sunday. And it really... It was, it was really good because he had an illustration as well to show how that happens. Yeah, I think that if it wasn't for the illustration, I don't think it would have come over that way. I mean, I yes. can remember every step. Yeah. From the pot that he pulled uh-huh. out, the, the ground soil. that, yes, uh-huh. the little seeds that he, that he put in. And the water and the he water, was yes. yes, you can't forget that. So, I mean, I think the illustration was brilliant because it's something that everyone from young to old will Can remember. To. Yeah. So, yeah, I loved it. I loved the way he did it. And it gives hope that yeah, you can have faith for your future. You don't have to, to have that. Um, you don't have to have so much faith. You just have to have just little, you know, so that you, you can harvest from, from whatever, yes. you know, you, you have whatever plans you have for your future. You yeah. know? So it was, it was really cool. And you mentioned something that um, he said, you know, um, do, you, do you mind sharing that a little? Yes. So what stood out is when he came to the seeds. Mm-hmm. So he took out this packet of seeds out oh, of yes. his little bag. Uh-huh. And he said when he went to the shops to actually buy the seeds, yep. the lady that was packing his bags asked him, can I pack your flowers in this bag? Yeah, and, and means yeah, it's seeds. And it's just seeds. So she already saw and had faith for what that seed is going to be one day. Oh, and yeah. I think that's amazing. If we have that faith for ourselves, so even if we may, might only have this little faith, but we see and we trust that something's going to happen in our uh-huh. life, it will. It will happen. And I kind of feel that the build-up to faith didn't only start on Sunday. Throughout the week, on uh, the previous week, um, it started actually midweek when we had that fiery night of worship. Yes. It was a really wonderful service, you know. Um, the prison worship team were, were really going for it and people were so engaged, you know. You could actually sense that people are hoping um, for something to happen yes. in their lives, you know. For me, it was sort of like a build-up from Wednesday. Yeah. To Saturday, which and we are going to talk about. Yes, and I mean. to Sunday as well. <coughs> you know, it was, it was sort of like a, a, a very dynamic week. Yes. It was like a roller coaster, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if we have to refer to our country had faith for the Springboks that then won. We all had (laughs) faith for them to win. Exactly. And I mean, even that in itself, it built faith in people that even when things don't look our way, it will happen. It will happen. It was sort of like a miraculous kind of game, you know. It was. A a lot happened on that match, you know. You could really sense that that was a miracle. Yes. And because of faith. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, that just put everyone in a good spirit. I mean, to see everyone Sunday, they were tired, uh-huh. so tired, but they were still excited, excited for the yeah. service. Yeah. I mean, that's all abnormal to see that. Uh-huh. So God is definitely working. And definitely. he's doing something. Yeah. Yes. And I'm so encouraged that um, he's not only working in the church, but also um, in social activities like your sports. He's also yeah. working, you know, it kind of built this, this unity amongst us, you know, as a country, because we do need that as, as, yes. as South Africans. We need to be united, you know. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, that's amazing to see. It, it, really was really, it was really awesome. I also enjoyed the present worship, which James was leading. Yes. And Rachel was also leading, so I really enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed the song, Take You at Your Word. <gasps> it's yes. a reflection of faith itself. I love that. I mean, to me, that song says that um, whatever God has said in his word, we, we need to take him at his word, you know, and he will do what he said. Just take him yeah. at his word, yeah. That tied so perfectly with the message. When uh, I heard and listened to the words again, because I don't know the song, oh but yeah. now I do, I was like, wow, it this ties just ties in. everything together. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, it was really awesome. Um, and a major, major congratulations to our boys for bringing yes. it back home. Congratulations to the Porkers. Um, yeah, you guys did a fantastic job. Although you kept us at the edge of our seats for, you know, three games in a row, but congratulations. And biting all our fingernails <laughs> off, you know. <laughs> that was really awesome. Thank you so much for watching the sermon recap. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also leave a comment and tell us what your recap was. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week. Goodbye.